I'm Kaylee Reesgraf. I'm a first year master's student here at UW-Madison, um, advised by Kent Weigel. I grew up on a farm called Lizoy Acres in Malone, Wisconsin, and after graduating high school, I traveled to do my bachelor's degree at UW-River Falls. There I got my degree in dairy science, um, and I participated in the 2021 Dairy Challenge. After completing my bachelor's, I moved here to Madison and I'm working on my master's in dairy science. And I am currently the Animal Science Graduate Student Association uh, Professional Development Co-Chair. Um, my hobbies include reading, softball, and pickleball. Um, when I moved from River Falls to Madison, I had to adapt and learn a couple of new skills. Um, so that included cooperation, patience, and adaptability. They were all important when moving to Madison. Through managing research projects, I have learned to stay positive. Um, I have learned how to be a stable lab mate in my lab, and I have also learned steadfastness. Some technical skills I have learned during my time here um, from managing my own research is how to develop heifer feed rations. Um, how to supervise heifer growth and development, and also how to perform wet chemistry analysis on feed and fecal samples. Furthermore, helping with my peers' research has taught me how to collect mammary and liver biopsies, as you can see me doing in this picture here. Um, I have also learned how to analyze ultrasounds of um, beef animals. I have learned how to utilize the green feed machine um, to measure methane, CO2, and oxygen emissions. To talk a little bit about my research, I'm focusing on heifer feed efficiency um, and how early life or in utero stressors can affect uh, heifer feed efficiency later in life. So my first project focused on uh, pre-weaning pair and in individual housing. Uh, the calves were subjected either as a pair or an individual housing situation and put under what we consider isolation stress. And um, then when they were 18 months old, they were enrolled onto my study where I looked at feed efficiency, digestibility, and methane emissions of these animals. So our hypothesis is that pre-weaning behavioral isolation stress alters the growth, feed intake, and feed efficiency of dairy heifers. Um, pre-weaning isolation stress does not seem to affect dry matter intake from my research this past summer. Um, it also does not seem to affect average daily gain, as shown in this graph. I had the individuals and the paired dry matter intake over my whole study, and they were basically identical. Um, and I'm also uh, ongoing analysis of the green feed data that I collected. Then, which started yesterday, I'm looking at how late gestation maternal heat stress while the heifer is in utero affects the heifer later on in life. Um, so a couple of questions that we're asking with this project is, are in utero heat stress heifers divergent in feed efficiency from their thermoneutral counterparts? Um, if so, why are the heat stressed animals more or less efficient? And um, do heat stressed animals produce more methane, further exacerbating the problem of global warming? And finally, our, our hypothesis is that in utero heat stress negatively impacts, impacts growth, feed intake, feed efficiency, and methane emissions in dairy heifers. So when thinking about my future and my goals, um, I would really love to help farmers um, steward their animals in the most excellent and efficient performance. Um, I hope to achieve this through dedicated research and innovative development of nutrient efficiency and methane mitigation in the dairy industry.